Who said that then? Philip Glass. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Take a while for him to find it. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's like, that's kind of, uh, it's probably quite true, really. Like there's, uh, well, I don't know really. I guess sometimes you make music and and it might take time for people to understand what you're doing. And I guess certainly with like, if you're a bit of a minimal composer, people might just think it's boring for a while and then they realize it's actually very good. <laughs> I think it's a bit, uh, a bit of both, maybe. Uh, but then I think also it, it's it, there is a kind of uh, a, like a a gate, <laughs> which is which like the is owned by the press, and like once they decide it's open, then it, then it's easier for people to find out about you. But uh, but yeah, I think all of it happens together. <laughs> Attractive gate. No, not it's really. Not really. Not really. I'm <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. I, I think in England it, it just seems that sometimes, unless you're a band which people decide are the best thing in the world, then then you just need a bit more time for them to be convinced that that you're kind of okay. And it's happened with like, I don't know. It's happened with. I guess like a band like the Horrors as well. It seems like it took a while for them to be kind of accepted. But I just think it's like a it reaches the point where they have to either hate you or like you. <laughs> yeah. It was the highlight of last year for me. It was amazing. Yeah. In fact, my skateboard is still in Warsaw. That's how good it was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, the, we were in the middle of a European tour then, and, um, and I think we, we really didn't know what to expect when we arrived, and it was just like, we remember seeing like six-year-olds on their parents' shoulders and stuff, and it was crazy, it was amazing, yeah. So, I would say we're getting a little bit more used to sort of, maybe not headlining as such, but playing later <laughs> on. And um, and it's kind of taken us, I guess, like maybe the whole of this year to sort of kind of structure what we do to hopefully make it convincing like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, the thing I mean. is, like, no. <laughs> it's always really varied because in America we played at Coachella and we played at two o'clock in the afternoon, and then in France. A lot of the time when we play at festivals, we play very late, and it's the same a lot of other places in Europe. In England, sometimes we play around six o'clock, you know, it's like... <laughs> Have so, breakfast about nine. <laughs> I guess that it, it's, it's not like... I think if you're a band like Radiohead, for example, any time you play a festival, you're always the headliner, whereas for us, it's really not always just like that X-album. at all. It's, just, it's kind of like, it varies. Uh, <coughs> I think... In America, they have America is a country that has an incredibly like strong identity, and it has its own bands. And there's a lot of you get the feeling that a lot of um, the more kind of uh, like the kind of those, the, <laughs> the equivalent of those gatekeeper press people in America. They kind of they they see uh, they see kind of imported music, and they think like, why do we need that? We've already got this. And I think for us, it's like, for a long time, that was the case. And now I think people, when we last went there, it was amazing and, and people are coming to the shows. But um, I just think it's like, it's, it's the fault of the English, really, because they keep saying like, this, this band, the Arctic Monkeys, they're incredible. They're the best thing you've ever heard. And then, and then America has to decide if they like it or not. And, but definitely, if you go and spend like, if you spend half your life touring there, then 
you can become big, you know. But, but we prefer Poland. <laughs> Well, it's, I mean, the change, like, the change happened quite a long time ago now, like it was four, almost four years ago. So we're very, I mean, like, it's hard to remember it because it was that long ago, but it was, it was actually very smooth and felt very natural and like, it was incredibly enjoyable for me and Oscar because it was so different from what we'd done before. And, and I think the idea, like, the four of us get on very well, so it was, uh, it's like a really nice thing to do. And I mean, I'm still writing the, the songs and things like that, but you know, we spend, you spend like a few months recording a record and then you spend two years away. So, so it's kind of, uh, it's, it's nice. It's a very even thing here. Yeah.